Нет. Вот. Куда? Поехали. Прямо? Да, да. This guy's just jumped in my car and said I'm going to take you somewhere. Let's see where we end up. Что? Куда? Здесь? Не, не. А как вы будете вернуться? Вернуться? Как вы будете? Может быть здесь достаточно? Не. Это дорогой. А вы куда? Вы куда? Дальше? Да. А как вы будете вернуться? Вернусь, не будете? Я там. А, хорошо, давай тогда. <laughs> so just yeah, for you. He wants me to take him home. I wondered what he wanted. He wants a lift. He's a hitchhiker on the open road. Поехали у Неглу. Хорошо. У магазин. У магазин давайте. Да. Давайте тогда. Вот А потом поедем ко мне. Там два, три дома. He wants to take me on a tour. He wants to invite me to his house. Господи. Ну я честный человек. Да, я верю, что быть честный. Да. He's telling me that he's an honest guy. Никогда никого не обману. He doesn't cheat anyone, he says. Куда? Ну я себе хотел показать. Два дома. А, где это? Где это? Ну, где я? Где мы били уже? А почему? Нет. Где? На именно. Поехали. He wants to take me to his house. I can't get rid of the guy. Да. He's like that hitchhiker in India I picked up years ago. Да. Hemraj. He's the Belarusian Hemraj. Let's go with it. Let's go with the adventure and see where he takes us. Even though it's out of my way and we're traveling back bloody five kilometers the way we just came from. Let's go with it. You never know where these adventures end up. Although I imagine it involves alcohol. Oh, we like that one. Me too, da? Da, da, da. And we're going down this little back road. We're right on the Russian border here. Is yours, da? Wow, he lives down in the middle of nowhere, this boy. I have no idea where we're going, where he's taking me. Maybe he is taking me to his dungeon. We're right on the Russian border. Literally, these trees on the left of me. Da, da. A nice little, a nice little tree laned avenue, I think he's saying. He's saying, check it out, how pretty it is here. Over there on the left is Russia. In fact, this road, I think, may even have crossed into Russia at some point and back into Belarus. Let's see where this is going then. This hitchhiking adventure, that's what I'm calling this video. Hitchhiking adventure. Where the hell is he taking me? This is like remote, remote. This is not even a road. Yeah, yeah. Straight on, straight on. Prama, prama. Prama, prama. Ah, Sininitsa, we're in a little village. Wow, look at this. Abandoned barn. Oh. At the bush? There's a house in the forest there. It's just full of abandoned houses in the forest. Oh, wow, this is getting quite interesting. No? No, I don't I wish I spoke Tarasyanka. Куда? Прямо? In the... Wow, there's just all abandoned houses here in this village. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Wow, this is pretty awesome. What a cool dude bringing me down here. He knows exactly what I'm after. Next he'll be showing me some kind of Soviet stuff. Прямо? No, no, but... Прямо? Да, на Россию. He's saying going to... Ah, to Russia. Да, пойдет. He's saying let's go to Russia.
Ой. А что, пешком? Да. Давай! Назад! И saying go back. Ой. 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 Эй, как вас зовут? Как вас зовут? Коля! This is Коля, by the way, guys. Николай! Николай! Да, 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 Николай! Понял, понял, Николай! Блин, так, куда сейчас? Так. Where to now? До двора. Уже. Что? Мой. Куда мы? Тихо. Коля, куда мы? I'm asking him where his house is. Why you bomb? Где там? Да. Господи. Где ваш дом, Коля? Скажи, где ваш дом? Ну, бой. Сейчас. По ворот будет. Вы хотите, что я буду назад? Не, не. Где ваш дом, Коля? Ну, едь. I think Collier time. just doesn't have a Two house. He just wants time. to go for a. He wants to go for a drive. Boy. Boy. So, ah, come. Dad. Oh my God! Wait there! Wait there! Wait there! Boy. Wait there, Collier. Подождите, подождите. Давайте мы будем ставить машины здесь. Мы будем пешком, хорошо? Oh no! Что нет? Далеко. Сколько? Ah, по километра. Сюда. Fuck, it's sandy. I don't want to get stuck in the sand. Не, Коля, давайте пешком. Давайте. Не, будем не. Да, Коля. Коля's refusing to walk the lazy bugger. He's got used to this driving lifestyle. Пошли, Коля, пошли пешком. Коля lives right on the Russian border. In fact, he might even live in Russia. Ваш дом в Беларусь или в России? Ваш дом. Это Беларусь? Это поселок. The village is in Belarus, not in Russia, which is good. Gospodin. Half a K in the radiation zone. With my mate Collier. Collier's just whipped his knob out and he's having a piss. What have I got myself into? There's an old house in the distance there and another one. Wow, what a lonely place to live. Imagine what it's like. I mean, we talk about old people in our countries, in England or whatever, saying they must get lonely, you know, as you get older, you lose your friends and stuff. But imagine being Collier and living out here in literally the middle of nowhere. In the village that's been abandoned. I mean, at the end of this path, How would that feel? Talk about loneliness. What happens in a lot of these abandoned villages or semi-abandoned villages in Belarus is you get a truck that comes once a month, maybe once every two weeks. It brings the pension. It also sells food to villages. It brings essentials like milk and bread and stuff. So although they're completely cut off, they get a little bit of outside world contact every now and then. But still, what a lonely, lonely experience living out here all alone. Come on, Collier, you can do it, buddy. You can do it. Oh, here we go. What? At the rush? Found number 19. The house is number 19 on it. Which means there would have been at least 19 houses in this little village before. But now, hardly anyone. Wow, look at this old place. Full of old Soviet newspapers and stuff. 
clothing. Oh my God. I hope this isn't his actual house and he lives a better lifestyle than this because this is pretty, this is pretty run down. So hopefully he has a better place than this. Zakribai? He's saying shut yeah. the door. Ah, nie zakribai. He's saying don't shut the door. Yeah. Wow, Kolya. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What a dark little place. Ah, elektrichka jest wie wasz dom, Kolya. Elektrichka. There's no electricity in his house, so he just lives here in the village in this little dark house. Nie ma. A kak można tak da prigatowit kuszyć ili stota? Yeah. Da. Я не брехавший, Понятно. у хрупкий, что сварю. Вау, и это все твои владения. А где вы спите? А, там. Это его здесь. Это очень темно здесь, поэтому мне трудно вам показать. Но есть здесь бед в конце. И здесь его овен, и, конечно, есть воздух, который он использует, чтобы готовить. Понятно. А как здесь зимой, Коля? Зимой как? Холодно? Нет. Нет? Нет. 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 As yes Stalin Daja. As yes Lenin. Ay hospaji. Kolya, vi nika gdeni bayatsia zies, adzin, velesu, vi jivyod, adzin, bayatsi stota, moshi bit, maniak, ili mi vie. Niet nika gdani bil bayus. Da. Nika da. Коля, как я могу помогать вам? Что я могу делать, что-то помогать ваш? Вам и ваш жизнь. Что я могу делать? Так. Дайте мне, если я руб. Есть, конечно. Для вас, конечно, есть. у меня есть. Конечно. Ну, Господи, не буду брехать. Я не жаб. Вот. Человеком становиться тяжело. Коля будет меня отправить в семитрию, который здесь, где-то. Это сложно верить, что в 2019 в Европе люди еще живут в домах, в лесах, без электричества, все одинаково, молодые люди. I don't really know what to say. I'm a little bit speechless about that. I knew that life here could be very difficult. Life here could be tough. But going into that dark little house that is like something from, I don't know, a painting by Ilya Repin or something, you know. It's like something from a Chekhov story. He's saying that to get to the cemetery, we've got to walk across this big field over into the forest. What about my converse? Хорошо. He said, young man, shut up and don't shout. We're going to the cemetery. I've been chastised. Я не спешу. Я с вами. Да. 
Vieš? Da. U rovu. Kak da ni usta pali. A ti to padi? Da. Ote, tam. No, eta, lednikovo je. Period. Gospodi. Tako. Tak. Čorna tuča. Biva. No. A potom rečki je na vjetku Dabaj Tako da vsi ljudi, ktorje zje, vaše druzje, vaše rozviniki, vsi iz vaše derevnje, da? Vaj! Ktorje je ranče bil. Bačka moj. Brat, je to vaš brat? Bačka je. A bačka je to vaš papa? Da, da. Ponjo. Vsi si iz kolje spade, he? Da. Panjatna kolje. A je to mač? Je to vaš mat. Da. Vsi si sestra in his mother. Jak s člověkem schodí. Spasíbe kolie, vše je dobře. Velmi příjemné. I spasíbe za vaše přání. Jiným ne. Za jiným nejst. Dobře. Co je? Co je? Dobře. No, dávaj ti akda. Udáči vám. Šťastný. Dej Bůh, že by dojechat. I've left old Collier at the graveyard. No doubt to reminisce about his relatives, past times in the village, when there were people and houses and probably parties and all kinds of stuff long before Chernobyl happened. All right. You never know what adventures you're gonna get into, right? When you stop and pick someone up. Although I didn't really have much choice with Collier. He kind of just commandeered the car. I said, drive! <laughs> Borneo! What a good old boy. Maybe one day I can come back and visit him, bring him some more stuff. I mean, crikey. What he's going to spend that money on, I don't know. All right, Carl's here. Still here. Thank goodness. Huh. Let's continue the journey through Belarus.